The outer entrance gate of the military museum in the citadel will take us inside the garden of the museum and inside a wide passageway that has eight historical cannons. Just beside this section, there is another part of the museum where some tools that were used by the soldiers, a number of weapons, and some of the Israeli tanks that were used during the war of October 1973 are put on display. At the end of this passageway, there is a large circular arena with the famous statue of Rahim Pasha, the leader of the Egyptian army during the reign of Muhammad Ali, standing in the center. Afterwards, there is another wide passageway that hosts some statues of the kings and rulers of Egypt during the Pharaonic era, like Ramses II and King Minos, the unifier of southern and northern Egypt. Opposite to these statues, there are other statues of more modern rulers of Egypt, like Saladin al Ayyubi or Salah al Din al Ayyubi, Al Zahir Bibers, Muhammad Ali, and Khedib Ismail. The first place that the guests enter is the Hall of Glory that displays a panorama of the events in Egypt beginning from the Pharaonic era to the War of October 1973. There is a large statue of an Egyptian soldier with the sentence, the best soldiers in the world, carved on the statue.
of course in addition to a large gallery displaying some golden military medals that date back to the period of the pharaohs that were presented by Tutmosis III to Amenhotep because of his bravery in the battles during the ruling period of the 8th dynasty. On the right side of the hall, there is the Hall of the Knights, and this where statues of Egyptian knights from different periods of time are put on display, riding their horses and wearing their special uniform of each period of the Egyptian history. There are examples of knights from the early Islamic days, the Ayyubid period, the Mamluk period, and also the Ottoman. The left side of the hall displays some of the scenes of the championships of the Egyptian soldiers during the war of October 1973 and how they had many victories against the Israeli forces in different battles. Next is the whole of the military uniforms, which illustrate the historical evolution of the outfits of the Egyptian army soldiers, officers and leaders throughout history, from the period of the pharaohs till modern days. Afterwards, there is the cannons section that exhibits many examples of cannons since its invention, also its development, and then during the days of Muhammad Ali. In this section, there is a large plate that has the names of the Egyptian officers that took medals and honors during the war of 1973. As for the Hall of the Weapons, that include many weapons and tools that were used to defend the Saladin Citadel in different periods of time.
The second floor of the museum illustrates the history of the Egyptian military during the Pharaonic and Greek of Roman periods. This section displays some scenes from the battles in ancient Egypt, with some battles from the reign of Tutmosis III and Ramses II. The third floor of the military museum in the citadel of Saladin has many displays illustrating the history of the Egyptian military forces during the Islamic era. This section has some detailed scenes from famous historical battles where the Arabs had great victories. like the battles of Hattin and Ain Galut with some marvelous details. One portrait has Saif al-Din Qutuz at the beginning of the Battle of Ain Galut, dividing his forces into three sections in the western part of the river of Galut. The portrait also shows how the Arabian army was able to deceive the Tatars and record a great victory in one of the most important military battles in the Egyptian history. The second portrait shows the Tatars' forces being under the siege of the Egyptian forces from behind and front, and also the mountains surrounding them from the left and the right before 
severe clashes started and resulted in a glorious victory for the Egyptian army when the Tatars wanted to occupy Egypt coming from the east. And among the most wonderful displays of this section is a wonderful replica of one of the swords of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, and the personal pistol of Muhammad Ali. The section of Muhammad Ali in the military museum is quite remarkable due to the fact that Muhammad Ali is credited from modernizing many aspects of the Egyptian light and army. This section has some of the magnificent paintings of the members of the royal family in Egypt. This is in addition to many statues that were made out of bronze, stones and gypsum. Most of these statues are featured with its simplicity and the depth of its meaning and content. The whole of the Suez Canal is another great section of the third floor of the military museum, as it illustrates in the details the digging of the canal. There is also the section dedicated to the French occupation of Egypt that remained for a short period of time. This section displays the battles of that period and the revolution of the Egyptians against the French occupation and how the French army hit Al Azhar Mosque, the center of the Egyptian revolution, to force the people to stop the rebellions. Then there is also the section of the Egyptian revolution of the year 1952, 
with an illustration of the events of the revolution, a portrait of the free soldiers, photos of the Egyptian presidents and the ministers of defense since the revolution up till now. Afterwards, there is the section dedicated to the war of the year 1967 and the defeat of the Egyptian forces against the Israelis. Then, the section which is specified for the victory of the Egyptian army over the Israeli forces in the war of the 6th of October 1973. and how the Egyptian soldiers showed their military skills and how heroic they were to achieve victory in the last battle that the Egyptian army went through. Mm -hmm.